Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. I hope you're having a beautiful day today. It's very nice. It was very um, um, foggy outside this morning, but as you can see, the sun is out and it's looking great out there. But I would like to talk to you all this, today about a couple of things. One is superfoods. What is a superfood? And I want to share with you many beautiful superfoods. I'm going to answer some questions I had, right? So I had a question like, can a hybrid be a superfood, right? That's one of my questions. And what is a superfood? We're going to talk about that today, y'all. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will be sharing my Zone 9 garden. I would like to clear up all right so in my last video if you watch my last video Jade and I were uh, planting out some moringa seedling uh, seeds that had just germinated and I instructed my granddaughter to plant them with the roots going up so I know y'all for the reason the reason I did this is because a friend of mine, yeah, he is a gardener, and him and I was talking about seeds and how they germinate. And we were talking about, the question I had for him was, does a seed only have one part of that seed uh, have the roots come out? So he said what he do is sometime when he get his seeds to germinate the way I did, he will plant them with the roots going up and this will encourage the seed uh, spring out more uh, roots. And this is what I was doing to try and figure out if I plant the seeds with the roots going up, will it encourage the seed to grow more roots going down? Because one of the most important things that we want in a seed to grow is to have lots of healthy roots. So if I can encourage this seed to produce more roots, um, then I will have a stronger plant. And this is why I planted the seeds growing up. Now, maybe I should explain that to you all when I was doing it, but it just totally slipped my mind. And listen, if this experiment does not work, it's fine. I have a thousand <laughs> Moringa seeds, which I am not going to keep these um, plants here that I planted. I'm going to give them away because I do not need more than one Moringa tree in my yard. That's all I need is one. Yeah. But that was the reason I planted those seeds with the roots going up. I want to encourage that seed to make more roots. Now, it's a, it's an experiment. I've never done it before, but I will keep you updated if you are curious about that and you want to know. All right? So no, Miss Linda ain't sleep. <laughs> I'm woke. I'm woke. All right, let's get to today's video now that we got that out the way. All right? All right, guys, so I was just very curious about this. I'm getting, you know, my head wrapped around of the seeds I want to purchase this season, what I want to grow this season, and how I want to just enhance my garden from 2020 uh, to 2021. What is it that I want to do different in my thinking about my garden. So I believe that every season, every year, we learn something in our garden. And so I do, I do every year. And I look forward to doing something a little different, just a little, okay? So one of the questions, I was sitting around talking with some friends of mine on Thanksgiving day, we were out in my garden and we were just talking about gardening, right? 
So I asked a question, what makes a plant a superfood? So what is a superfood? All right. So of course, you know, I had to go and start researching what is a superfood? What is it about a, a fruit or vegetable that makes it a superfood, right? So I have read a lot. <laughs> I couldn't go to sleep last night. I just stayed. I, it just had me. I was locked in. <laughs> I wouldn't let go. But I do have some notes here, right here. I have some notes. So if I'm looking down, guys, I'm reading these notes because it was a lot to take in. It was a lot. But did I learn a lot? I did. And what I learned, I'm going to give you all a taste of what I've learned. Okay? The first thing I want to say is the word superfood really just came on to the scene maybe between 10 and 20 years ago, right? And really, it was many seed companies that put together this word to enhance their selling of their seeds, really. That's, that's what it was, <laughs> you know? So, but... What they did, even with their, you know, thinking of, you know, we're just going to call this a superfood. There were some vegetables and fruits that is labeled superfood because of the nutrients they produce. All right. So now listen, I, I was uh, reading uh, a Dr. Ashley Hill. She, she did a whole little study about this. And th this is what she said. She said, uh, though many foods could be described as a superfood, it's important to understand that there is no single food that holds the key to good health and disease prevention. Since the term superfood doesn't look like it's going anywhere, right? <laughs> Anytime soon, it may be worth taking a closer look at what makes a plant or a vegetable a superfood, right? So what I have here, I have superfoods and what makes these plants superfoods. Now, one of the things that I found that make a vegetable or fruit a superfood is the color purple. Yes, the color purple is because they have all of these minerals and antioxidants uh, in this vegetable, right? Or fruit, right? So I'm going to give you a list of many purple um, fruits and vegetables that is labeled superfoods, okay? Beets. Beets is a powerhouse packed with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Mm -hmm. And if that wasn't enough, it's low in fat. And that, that's a beet. So we love beets. And I know many of us grow beets, but many of us didn't know that it is labeled a superfood. And one of the great reasons is because of that purple. And many times when you see vegetables and fruits that is purple, they are packed with antioxidants, all right? That's the first thing you should know. Number two is those purple potatoes. I remember those purple potatoes that Led had. Those purple potatoes are amazing. They're beautiful. Yes, they are. But they are a powerhouse, a powerhouse with antioxidants. So check this out. It says purple potatoes are reported to contain four times as many antioxidants as a russet potato. So, even though it makes our garden so beautiful, that color purple, but it's going to make our bodies just as beautiful, right? Red cabbage. Y'all know I got some out there now. Red cabbage is packed with antioxidants and nutrients, vitamins, and minerals, as well as fiber. Mm -hmm. The purple cauliflower, it's rich in vitamin C. Yeah, 
The purple asparagus is full of antioxidants. Yes. Berries. And I'm talking soft berries like raspberries, blueberries. Yes. They are a superfood. Berries are a superfood all by themselves. They are a superfood. Right. Uh, it's full of antioxidants, right? Purple carrots. So let me let me tell you this here. Let me give you a little history of the carrot. A few hundreds of years ago, all cultivated carrots were purple. They were purple. The orange carrots wasn't cultivated until the late 16th century. How about that? Also, the purple corn. This beauty contains a variety of antioxidants. It's full of minerals and vitamins. So those are many of the vegetables that I found that were superfoods. And the reason they are called superfoods. Now, there are other vegetables that also labeled for superfoods. So another question I kind of threw up in the air to some of my friends is, can a hybrid be a superfood, right? So, yes, a hybrid can be a superfood. And the reason I say that is because of this. Many vegetables that are hybrid, it was intentionally um, split and to, to make this vegetable uh, do, do well in one zone and, you know, could take the temps in this zone. And so, yes, so that's, that's an intentional hybrid. But nature does hybrids all the time. Uh, the wind pollinate insects will go from plant to plant and pollinate, and that is a hybrid. Can a hybrid be a superfood? Yes, she can. She can be a superfood. So I would like to encourage us all to grow more purple vegetables. Grow superfoods. So listen, let me give you another list, all right? Superfoods. We know one of the number one superfoods there is, is kale. Kale. Kale is a superfood, right? And of course, we know berries of all kinds. Mm-hmm. Microgreens. Microgreens are more nutrients benefits than if it grew into its biggest stage. Those microgreens are full, are full of vitamins, mineral, antioxidants, so much. Microgreens, they are amazing, amazing. Purslane, purslane is another one that is awesome for growing. So when you think about this growing season, think about more in our garden in 2021. It's not just planting um, seeds, you know, but planting vegetables and, and fruits that is going to love our bodies and make us more healthier because that's what one of the things that we're doing in our garden. So we want to grow our garden so we know what's in our foods and our foods not only looks better, it tastes better. It tastes better because there's nothing in there that's going to hurt you, right? So, yeah, guys, just let's think about, and all, most of all the seeds that I talked about, the purple seeds, you can find those at Baker Creek. They are there. So try and look into some purple vegetables. Yes, you will find that the looks of them is not only just beautiful, they love your body too. Yeah. But anyway, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope all is well. I hope you do your research on superfoods and hybrids and purple in the garden. All right, guys. Later, y'all.